assalamu alaikum guys guys in this video today we will discuss about two marks important questions and answers of pharmaceutical engineering clear so please don't skip the video watch the video until last and this video what i had prepared now uh, these are very important and one more important point these are framed from rguhs university okay or pca pharmacy council of india india so please don't skip this video and for your convenience for your easy purpose i have made a question with answer there is answer also for this you can write it down write it down in any one you take one paper and write it down the answer for the particular question practice this question enough for your two marks the remaining question may be asked from 10 or 5 marks clear so please don't skip the video watch the video until last let's start the first question define filter media and filter aids with example we have to define this first filter media and then filter aids i have to take your filter aids see here see filter aids they are the group of inert materials that can be used in the filtration pre treatment means uh, here uh, why we are using the filter um, aids means uh, because uh, to filter it is the pre treatment of filtration okay for that purpose we are using the filter aids example is the diatomaceous earth cellulose these are the two example which belong to this filter aids next filter media filter media are the portion of the filtering system that separate here unwanted particles from the substances being filtered means the two definitions are related but in aids what we are doing we are filtrating it is a pre treatment for the filtration but here directly what we are doing we are separating the unwanted particles unwanted particles okay we are separating unwanted particles means the particles which are larger in size are separated from one side the particles which are smaller in size are separated one side this technique is known as a filter media which one filter media example for that is a filter paper filter cloths okay mesh these are a simple example you know that okay filter paper you know no when you pour any liquid with a solute solute means a solid means at that time what happen the filter will collect that which one solid materials solid materials and the liquid what you have poured into that filter paper no that is collected and down to the beaker that is filtrate yeah now let's discuss about the second important question yeah what is the use of a pitot tube and principle pitot tube and principle this question is asked two times in the examination what is this pitot tube pitot tube is a flow measurement device which is used to measure the fluid flow velocity means uh, the flow of velocity the flow of velocity means what's the flow of fluid what is the flow of fluid the speed of fluid what is the velocity of the fluid to determine that what we are using we are using the pitot tube principle of this pitot tube is uh, the pitot tube is a differential differential pressure measuring device means uh, means pressure measuring device uh, and it is installed in the flow stream measure the di to direct the pressure at the contact pitot tube hole and a second measurement is a required being of the static pressure means basically you remember this pitot tube is used for the pressure measurement okay or it is uh, means the principle of this is it is used in the pressure measurement and also being a static pressure it is also used to measure the static pressure here see static pressure and the pressure measurement clear this is the use of the pitot tube understand this it is very important uh, now the next one is a uh, state rolls law what is this uh, rolls law see it states that uh, the partial pressure the partial pressure of each component of an ideal mixture of the liquid okay understand the partial pressure of each component okay each component of an ideal mixture of liquid that is equal to vp vapor pressure of the pure component pure component multiplied by its mole fraction in the mixture this is the rolls law you have to practice this okay means uh, here each component okay the partial pressure of each component uh, that should be in a mixture that which uh, that is equal to the vapor pressure of the pure components okay pure components uh, of its mole fraction where in the mixture okay you have to practice this next one is due to advantages and disadvantages of plastic as material of construction why we are using the plastic in the materials of construction why what's the limitations for that let's study that the advantages of using plastic is that 
इट इज़ लाइट वेट यस येट इज स्ट्रॉन्ग विच मेक्स इट्स ईजियर टू ट्रांसपोर्ट एंड शिफ्ट अराउंड साइड्स यस बिकॉज ऑफ इट्स लाइट वेटनेस वी कैन ईजिली शिफ्ट दोज प्लास्टिक मटीरियल्स टू फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनदर प्लेस क्लियर नाउ लेट्स डिस्कस डिसएडवांटेजेस एंड लिमिटेशंस प्लास्टिक्स मे बी डिग्रेडेड अंडर द एक्शन ऑफ डायरेक्ट सनलाइट व्हिच रिड्यूसेस देयर मैकेनिकल स्ट्रेंथ मींस कंटीन्यूअस फॉलिंग ऑफ सनलाइट ओवर दोज प्लास्टिक विल डिग्रेड दोज प्लास्टिक्स ओके एंड रिड्यूसेस द मैकेनिकल स्ट्रेंथ मेनी प्लास्टिक्स आर फ्लेमेबल अनलेस ट्रीटेड दे आर फ्लेमेबल देन हाई एम्बॉइड एनर्जी कंटेंट समर low modulus of elasticity elasticity is less here makes them unsuitable for load bearing application we cannot bear the heavy load on those plastics okay because of this uh, poor flexibility or elasticity clear this is the some limitations of a plastic by using as a material in the construction now the next that is the fifth question are you writing this just write it down stop the video and write it down classify dryers with a ex suitable example see a classification of dryers spray dryers drum dryers you, ex you have studied that uh, dryers spray dryers uh, drum dry drum drum dryers these all are the dryers means which used to dry the wet materials clear now domestic some of the dryers uh, we will discuss domestic open sun drying that is a solar dryer small scale we are using like a uh, tray dryer tunnel dryer microwave dryer dryer okay microwave dryer these we are using in our home only microwave dryer dryer see in the washing machine one simple dryer is present that is a uh, mostly that is of uh, i don't know the name of that dryer but a uh, simple dryer it is means it is small scale dryer which is used to dry our clothes okay then large scale dryer also it is a classification or the yes classification of the dryer now the sixth question what is a ronolds number reynolds number and application okay reynolds the reynolds number is the ratio of the inertial forces to viscous forces means uh, here what is this it is a number that is the ratio of the inertial forces to viscous forces it is the ratio to which is the ratio that is the ratio of the inertial forces means inertial forces to which one viscous forces the ratio of inertial forces to the viscous forces is known as the reynolds number now applications or uses it is used to categorize the fluid systems in which the effect of viscosity is important in controlling the velocities or the flow pattern of the fluid means basically it is used to categorize means classify the fluids fluid system okay on the basis of the velocities or on the basis of the viscosity this is the application of the reynolds number where we use the next uh, the seventh question differences between evaporation and drying it is also very important asked two to three times so evaporation is the process of uh, transforming liquid into a gas under the influence of heat means what we are doing here we are transferring the liquid into the gas no for an example evaporating we are for an example see now petrol benzene benzene we keep for sunlight means or just we open the cap of that petrol means what happens it will evap evaporate it means liquid to the gas yes it is the evaporation then distillation means obtaining gas or vapor from liquid by heating and condense condensing to liquid means here what what, what the difference is uh, here we are getting the vapor or the gas from where from the liquid okay by continuous heating that is distillation then only occurs at the surface this evaporation only occurs at the surface it does not occurs does not occurs only at the surface no it does not occurs we can see at the side of the vessel at the surface okay many places we can observe this distillation process then liquid vaporizes below boiling point yes below boiling point only it get vaporized but here liquid vaporizes at a boiling point at complete boiling point it should be vaporized then a slow process evaporation is a slow process but distillation it is the rapid one rapid one suddenly if you are giving heat means that start converting the gases or gases or the vapors clear which one that is a distillation here one small 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 change it's not a distillation drying it's of a distillation distillation just make the correction distillation my dear brothers and sisters this is not drying this is the distillation distillation 
या नाउ द नेक्स्ट वन इज डिफरेंस बिटवीन डिफरेंस बिटवीन सेडिमेंटेशन एंड एल्यूट्रिएशन व्हाट इज दिस सेडिमेंटेशन एंड एल्यूट्रिएशन सी यर फर्स्ट वन एल्यूट्रिएशन इज द प्रोसेस फॉर सपरेटिंग पार्टिकल्स बेस्ड ऑन द साइज शेप डेंसिटी यूजिंग अ स्ट्रीम ऑफ अ गैस लिक्विड फ्लोइंग इन द डायरेक्शन यूजली अपोजिट टू द डायरेक्शन ऑफ सेडिमेंटेशन यर मीन्स बेसिक वी आर यूजिंग दिस एल्यूट्रिएशन फॉर द सेपरेशन पर्पोज ओके फॉर द सेपरेशन पर्पोज सेपरेटिंग द मटीरियल ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द डेंसिटी ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द शेप साइज ओके बाई यूजिंग सम ऑफ द स्ट्रीम्स ऑफ द गैस स्ट्रीम्स ऑफ द लिक्विड ओके इन एन फ्लोइंग डायरेक्शन मीन्स इन दिस फ्लोइंग डायरेक्शन वेयर द सेडिमेंटेशन इज इन अपोजिट डायरेक्शन सेडिमेंटेशन इज इन अपोजिट डायरेक्शन नाउ वॉट इज दिस सेडिमेंटेशन इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ अलॉविंग पार्टिकल्स इन सस्पेंशन इन वाटर टू सेटल आउट ऑफ द सस्पेंशन अंडर द इफेक्ट ऑफ ग्रेविटी मीन्स फॉर एन एग्जाम्पल सी सस्पेंडिंग एजेंट्स यू हव सेडिमेंटेशन मीन्स नव सी दिस इज द वॉटर वाटर दिस वाटर कंटेन्स सम ऑफ द पार्टिकल्स पार्टिकल्स नाउ इफ यू शेक दैट वाटर विद द पार्टिकल्स नाउ दीज पार्टिकल जस्ट दे सेटल डाउन द सेटलिंग डाउन ऑफ द पार्टिकल ड्यू टू द ग्रेविटी दैट इज नोन एज द सेडिमेंटेशन सिंपल प्रोसेस नाउ डिफाइन अ ब्लैक होल एंड अ ग्रे बॉडी सॉरी ब्लैक बॉडी एंड अ ग्रे बॉडी वॉट इज दिस ब्लैक बॉडी अ ब्लैक बॉडी इज एन आइडियल फिजिकल बॉडी दैट कैन बी ऑब्जर्व ऑल द इंसिडेंट रेडिएशन एंड एमिट रेडिएशन टू एवरी पॉजिबल डायरेक्शन आइसोट्रोपिकली मीन्स फर्स्ट फर्स्ट वॉट वॉट इट विल डू दिस ब्लॉक ब्लैक बॉडी इट विल ऑब्जर्व ऑल द रेडिएशन पार्टिकल्स इट स्टोर्स देन आफ्टर इट विल ट्रांसमिट और इट विल एमिट रेडिएशन टू एवरी पॉजिबल डायरेक्शन आइसोट्रॉपिकली ओके आइसोट्रॉपिकली नाउ वॉट इज दिस ग्रे बॉडी अ फिजिकल बॉडी हु इज ऑब्जॉर्बिटी ऑफ अ सर्फेस डज नॉट वेरी विद द वेरिएशन इन टेम्परेचर वेव लेंथ ऑफ द इंसिडेंट रेडिएशन मीन्स इफ द मीन्स दिस बॉडी ग्रे बॉडी मीन इट इज सिमिलर टू द ब्लैक बॉडी इन इट ऑल्सो शो स्टोर्स द इंसिडेंट रेडिएशन इट ऑल्सो एमिट्स बट हियर इट डजेंट चेंज मीन्स इट डज नॉट वेरी इन टेम्परेचर और द वेव लेंथ ओके मीन्स द वेरिएशन द टेम्परेचर एंड द वेव लेंथ इज द सेम एट ऑल द कंडीशन दैट इज द मेजर डिफरेंस बिटवीन दिस ब्लैक बॉडी एंड द ग्रे बॉडी ओके यू राइट बोथ सेम डेफिनेशन बट हियर यू हैव टू राइट नो वेरिएशन इन टेम्परेचर एंड द वेव लेंथ वेर इन द ग्रे बॉडी या नाउ लेक्स डिफरेंस अबाउट द टेंथ क्वेश्चन यस लिस्ट वेरियस ग्रेड्स ऑफ पाउडर्स ऑफिशियल इन फार्मोकोपिया नव सी ग्रेड ऑफ पाउडर then all particles must pass through the sieve number or mesh nominal mesh aperture coarse powder coarse powder all particles must pass through the sieve sieve number that is a 10 moderately coarse powder 22 then moderately fine powder 44 then fine powder fine powder 85 if you practice this table means you can get the two mark just write this table okay practice this table right one side just practice this next the 10th 11th question write uses of the belt uh, conveyor what is this belt conveyor it is mainly used uh, to connect the broken equipment of the different levels sand production facilities and screen equip- equipment belt it is the belt what we are using means because to connect the instruments to connect the screening equipment screening equipment or in big big industries for the connection connection we are using this uh, belt conveyor okay for the broken equipment we are using this okay if the equipment is broken to connect that we are using this uh, belt conveyor now the 12th question what happens to the rate of filtration when filter rates are used in more than required concentration means if we use the filter rates in more concentration means then what happens as filter rate particle decreases means filter rate particles as they decreases uh, the ability to capture fine solids increases such the filter rate cl- clarity improves means uh, if you use greater amount of filter rates means definitely what happens uh, the rate of filtration decreases means we have to use the grade type of the filter rates means uh, very not very fine not only very big means it should be moderate or the grade type of the filter aids uh, filter aids so we can increase the filtration okay they should be neither big nor minute they should be medium level grade level so that's by controlling that by maintaining that we can raise the rate of filtration now what are impellers equipments 
give some of the equipments say the impeller or the impeller is a ro is a it is a rotor used to increase the pressure and flow of the fluid okay what why for what purpose we are using this impeller means uh, just to increase the pressure and the fluid flow of a fluid flow of fluid or uh, for mixing we are using this uh, impellers equipments air foil pitch blade propeller blade silver sun mixer these all are some equipments for the impellers impellers basically we are used for the mixing or uh, flow of fluids to increase the fluidity to increase the flow of fluid to increase the pressure we are using this now the next 14 question what is a biological corrosion example biological corrosion see it is also very important as two to three times uh, with example you have to give it is the deterioration of the metal or non metal non metal materials caused by the influence of the microorganism residing in water waste water or interior piping walls means what happens uh, for uh, a long time usage of same pipe for a long time there what happens inside the pipe uh, there will be deposition of algae algal corrosion that is only biological corrosion yeah now example inner side of the piping system inside the motor which is kept inside water means some motors are uh, stable in the water we are keeping that motors in water so after some days or some months or some years that motor start corrosing means biological corrosing deposition of the uh, algae or any type of the biological species plants over that motor which reduces the activity reduces the clearness of that motor mechanical activity get reduced of that motor this is the some biological corrosion and mechanism what happens after that then the 15th one write the uses of the pneumatic conveyor see a pneumatic conveyor it is also very important it is the metal powder transporter means pneumatic conveyor basically it is the metal powder transporter basically it acts as a transporter recycling and any similar use case that needs the transfer of powders granules flakes basically this uh, pneumatic conveyor helps to transport transport it acts as a transporter of the powders granules flakes and dry bulk okay mainly dry things conveyor helps to pass the mainly dry things okay belt conveyor means connection pneumatic conveyor means uh, recycling drying the things like powder means solid things dried things okay yes my dear brothers and sisters these are the important questions repeatedly asked in your examination just practice these 15 question inshallah you will get a maximum questions in this okay if you are new to this channel subscribe my channel let's join pharmacy thank you assalam alaikum